and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a simple duotone effect. We've got a nice filter for that that we can use. Obviously we need an image. Let me just drag one into Inkscape. Let's just press OK for the defaults. We're fine with that. I'll put it right here. Make sure it's selected. So click on it. Then filters, color and duo chrome. You'll get this menu. Check the live preview. And under options, you can play around with the fluorescence, but I'll keep that to zero and you've got a drop down. We can swap some colors. Just check that out. Most often you want to use no swap and a zero for the fluorescence. We've got two colors obviously for the black and the whites. So the first one goes on top of the blacks. And I use the color wheel to play around with these colors. You can also play around with the opacity or switch between transparent and 100% for the colors with the slider below the wheel. And the second color, it goes where the whites are, so here the background and on the face. And you can see what that does. So the results, they vary depending on the image that you use. So I've used a fully white image here, or almost fully white. Let me use another one that's a little bit darker. I'll just put that here. And let me, uh, let me put the original of the white one below there. We can compare it better that way. And I'll copy the darker one with a right click and duplicate. And now let me add the same effect to the dark one. So once again, it's selected filters, color, duo, chrome. And I use the same color combination. So live previous check now. And you can see how much the original colors in the image affect the results. So it's a very exact same color combination for this two tone effect. But the second one is way darker and thus it looks different. So you really have to play around with the color wheel and find something that you like. And you will have to play around with the values on a case by case basis. But this is how you can create this duotone effect easily in Inkscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.